One product you don't want to be without while building your aircraft is this self-fusing silicone tape. It has some rather unique properties that make it very useful when building your aircraft. First of all, it doesn't stick to anything, hardly anything at all, except to itself. In fact, you'll notice there's a thin membrane that you peel off before applying it, and that keeps all of these layers from sticking to each other and fusing into one big mess. So what's nice is you can wrap things that are oily or are wet or slippery. It doesn't matter because it won't stick to anything except itself as you wrap it around and around. Another important property is that it is highly electrically insulative, if that's a word. In other words, each wrap, single layer of this is good for several thousand volts which means in your aircraft, just a couple of wraps around anything electrical will provide more than adequate electrical protection, plus sealing out moisture and the elements if you wrap it tightly. Another unique property is that it can withstand up to 500 degrees Fahrenheit and way, way, way down very sub-zero freezing also. So this can be used in your engine compartment, no problem. It is stretchy. It can be stretched, after I pull the layer off, up to three times its original length. And that will aid us when we're wrapping it around structures to help it bond to itself. So once it touches itself, with some pressure, after just a few minutes, it effectively bonds to itself and becomes almost one, if you will. Let's look at some uses around your aircraft that make it highly desirable. The insulating qualities of the silicone tape are just outstanding. If you have forgotten to put your heat shrink tubing on, and you know, once you made the connections, it's a little late to do that. Use a piece of the silicone tape. We're simply going to apply it and stretch it as we apply it, overlapping a little bit. And we have a beautifully sealed cover that is both highly insulated from a voltage standpoint and also seals out moisture and protects it just as good as your heat shrink tubing. And that is permanent and heat resistant on top of that. Fire sleeve needs its end sealed. A lot of us will clamp this on and leave the end open like that, but the problem is fluids like oil in an engine can wick up into the inner coating of the fire sleeve. Now, the traditional way is to dip the ends of your fire sleeve in a special silicone liquid and it seals it up. It's very expensive and most of us don't have that available. The next best thing is to use our silicone tape and wrap this tightly and that will prevent anything from getting inside the end. I'm going to go ahead and wrap this to demonstrate the example. Fluid will never attack the edge of this fire sleeve. 
and a clamp can be put over it, or this could have been done with the clamps underneath your choice, depending on what type of fitting you're using with your fuel hose or oil hose, wherever you end up using fire sleeve in the engine compartment. Another use is to protect an area during powder coating. If we wanted to have this steel piece powder coated, but for some reason we did not want this area to be covered by wrapping the appropriate size silicone tape around it, we have a great way to prevent the powder coating in that area, and then it's easy to slit off with a knife when we get it back from the powder coating process. We all know that we're not supposed to be using plastic tie wraps in our engine compartment. They can't take the heat, and over time they will crack, fall off, and they're just not a good solution.